Welcome to the Single Dad's Cookbook Christmas Specials. Hi folks, welcome back to another episode of the Single Dad's Cookbook Christmas Specials. And today we're going to be making delicious easy sides. And there's the finished products for you there. Um, so, these sides are not only delicious, but they're, they're probably the cheapest sides that you you will find. So, first of all, get your carrots. Now, as you can see here, I've just got a bag of carrots from the local supermarket. You can get the fancy carrots if you want. Process is exactly the same. You just need to clean the, the little stalk if you're keeping it on it. Um, but this bag of carrots cost 50 pence, I think. So, and all I've done there is I've peeled them, um, topped and tailed them, and then I'm going to just batten them up. Now, you can make these, um, for Christmas dinner, I always have them as battens, just to give it an extra dimension. Helps with the cooking when you're um, cooking like roast potatoes and all that kind of stuff. You can see there, however, I've also cut some on a biased because you can actually have this with just a normal roast dinner. You don't have to do the final product, but I'm going to show you how to make beautiful, sweet carrots. So, just cut, cutting these up. Folks, if this is your first time, um, welcome to the channel. I hope you're, you're doing well. Um, please, if you do like these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button and the little bell icon. I know I get around for not mentioning that enough. Um, and we've had someone from Glasgow join us recently, so uh, I, I hope you're doing well. Now you'll notice this is where I start to batten them up because they can become a bit thick, so you just want to make sure you've got them roughly the same size because you want them cooking at... Um, at the same time, you don't want bite into one that's nice and soft and succulent, or you bite into one and it's still hard. And then if you leave the bigger ones to cook till they're done, the other smaller ones are all burnt through. So you've battened them up. You've got your oven on. Now I've got my oven at 180 degrees Celsius, and that's a fan oven. So you'll need to work whatever you're out, is out. Now to make it sweet, this is if you've ever been to a restaurant and ate the vegetables and went, my goodness, that that is such a beautiful carrot or veg this is how they do it in the cold water you add some sugar okay bring the sugar so it dissolves and bring the, the the water up to temperature up to boiling put your carrots in and let them cook through now you at this stage if you're going to now roast these carrots what you want to do is you only want to part cook them. If you've cut them on the diagonal because you're having them for just a normal Sunday dinner, then you want to cook them until they're done. I've got myself a roasting tray. So the carrots have been part boiled. I'm just draining them now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop them into this container. So I'll just pop them in. You can see there, they're all still holding their shape. They've all... They're, and this is why I use the battens for this, because they, they do hold the shape better. Give, give them a bit. Now you can, if you've got a bigger roasting tray, spread them out. I've just got a little one here because it's, I'm just, it's not quite Christmas yet. Now into that, I'm just spraying them with a little bit of oil. Again, whatever oil you've got, give them a bit of toss around so they're all getting covered. Then into this, you want to put in some honey. And then you're going to pop them, them in the oven and let them roast through. Depending on how long you've boiled them for, it depends on how long you're going to roast it. The less the boil time, so the longer it'll take to roast in the oven. And it all comes down to what kind of colour that you want on them. So if you want to keep them, if you've got young children, having them nice and crispy, not really their thing. So they want to see them nice and bright, but they're sweet, so they're, they're appetising and they'll want to have it a go. So give them a mix and get them in there. And that is as simple as that. Um, just as well, I'm just giving them a quick coating of uh, salt. So you've got the sweetness and you've got the saltiness. Now on to the second one, which 
Now, I do believe this is actually, this originates in France, so would you believe it? So again, I've got frozen peas. You can use fresh pea pods if you want. Frozen peas, way cheaper. I've got just some smoked bacon. It's got to be smoked bacon. It can be any type of smoked bacon you want. Um, I've just got some uh, rashers here. Again, I would say, I would hazard a guess, 90% of us over the Christmas period will have bacon in in the fridge. So again, nice and simple. You're just dicing this up. You'll notice as well, I had some lettuce and a chicken stock. You're also going to need some butter for this. Like I said, it originates in France and they like their butter. <laughs> if anyone is watching this from France, please let me know below if it's right or if I'm wrong. Um, so chop the bacon up giving everything a, a wipe down and then we're just going to uh, finely chop the lettuce now this may seem random you can use baby gem lettuce if you've got it um, I'm using just um, iceberg lettuce why? because it's a cheaper alternative I think that whole lettuce head again cost maybe 30 pence um, a bag of frozen peas cost a pound something um, the bacon a little bit more expensive um, but again, you could, the lettuce is used to bulk it out, but it does add a, a little extra dimension to it. So you've got that. The bacon's on and you're rendering down the fat. You can let this bacon go and get it crispy. Depends on how you want it. Again, if you're feeding the, the family with it, you, do, you want to get a nice colour on there. Um, and you'll see why, because we're going to braise it a little bit later. Now, as you can see there, what I'm struggling with is splitting it all out, but you want to make sure that all the cook, uh, all the bacon is cooked and it's all rendered. So you, and once you've got a nice bit of colour on it, you add in the peas. One thing I would say and suggest with this, if you are going to use the frozen peas like I have, maybe bring them out a little bit beforehand so they defrost. Um, um, inadvertently I added a bit more liquid to this than I would like but these things you learn um, and all you're going to do now is you're just going to cook this through and bring them the peas up to temperature you're going to add in a little bit of butter just again just to get that glaze going um, and then you're just going to let them cook through and you'll see and then all of a sudden they'll, they'll start to get a shine on the machine okay uh, folks, the messages um, from all over the world, and I genuinely mean all over the world, is incredible. Um, the last video, yep, everybody spotted the mistake I made, which is which is fine. Um, but it's it's honest cooking, and that's that's what this is about. Um, these dishes, they're not mega expensive. Uh, that's not the the time that we're in. I watch these other shows and and yeah, it's great if you've got all the ingredients, but most of us don't. So this is this is us doing with um, making the best of what we've got and making delicious meals. So that's the chicken stock that I've just put in there, and you can see I've just put enough, not quite to cover everything, but just uh, maybe I've added probably if that was a cup of stock, I used maybe a quarter. A quarter of it you can see there it's just to braise the peas and, and cook them through and you want to now reduce that stock all the way down and as that's reducing you'll notice the bacon floats to the top it, it was bizarre now to emulsify the sauce you're adding some more butter like I said this is a French recipe which is um Beautiful, but you can see because they were frozen, they've held the water, so they've released it a little bit more. Still, absolutely delicious, though. But that would be my one, my one tip that I would say. Now, the other thing with this is don't be scared if there's a bit of liquid because the lettuce is actually going to ab absorb some of that. You remember, you're adding an extra volume to this. So, so after a few minutes, you can see it's been boiling away, and the the liquid has reduced. Now, at this stage, you want to take the, uh, off the heat and we're adding in the lettuce 
So at this point, we're just going to give everything a coat. The residual heat in the pan will wilt down the lettuce. So we're just going to keep stirring that in. And you can see already that the liquid is dissipating and it's getting absorbed by the lettuce. And, and what you're doing is you're just, you're not only are you wilting the lettuce, you're coating it in, in that sauce or the chicken stock. So we're just covering that. And as we go, we just make sure everything's nice and wilted. Then we're going to plate up. And that's us, we're almost done. Literally, the two of them took to make 20 minutes. Nothing, nothing too strenuous on the big day itself. And I've just got a couple of dishes here, so I'm just going to plate them up. I'm going to throw some all over the floor. You guys obviously make a bit, much better job of plating up and do that. Folks, I hope you enjoy watching this series. It is a pleasure um, to show uh, my cooking for you guys and, and hearing the feedback. Um, I hope you really are uh, looking after yourself and each other out there um, at this time of year, especially because um, it's easy to, to go down a, a, a rabbit hole at this time of year. But um, just to let you know that my the comments are open um, all the time for you guys if you if you want to talk. So you can see the carrots are out nice and easy there. And there you have it. Two beautiful sides. Give it a bit of a taste. Um, you might want to add a little bit of pepper to the peas. Um, but for, other than that, absolutely gorgeous. No time at all. Look great on the dinner table, whether it's Christmas dinner or Sunday dinner. Um, these are designed for that. And as always, from my family to yours, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great Christmas and a happy new year. And until the next video, thanks for watching. Single Dad, signing off.